Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Evita Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expression. In this video, we are going to solve this question called students with invalid departments and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 36th video of the series called students with invalid departments. And if I look at the companies, this question has been asked in. So Amazon, let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called departments with two different columns id and name in sql id is the primary key of this table the table has information about the id of each department of a university we are also given a second table called students with three different columns id name and department id in sql id is the primary key of this table the table has information about the id of each student at a university and the id of the department he she studies at we are asked to find the id and name of all students who are enrolled in the departments that no longer exist order of the result does not matter okay let's go through this example and look at what we need in our output so let's look at the records in the department table so there are three different departments electrical engineering computer engineering and business administration and there are a number of different students their ids name and the department they are enrolled in so to solve this question we can adopt two routes firstly is performing a join so if you just think about it right so if you perform a left join of students table with the departments table and say that okay where your department id is equal to id obviously these are the departments which exist right now so students who are enrolled in departments which are not present in the departments table that is going to be null for example if we look at john right department id 14 department id 40 does not exist anymore so here everything that will come will be null so you can uh, perform a join and say okay wherever your columns coming from the departments table is null keep only those rows that is one way but since this if you look at it this question is regarding the subqueries so what we need to do is we can solve this using a subquery as well and we can directly go ahead and do from this table called students keep only those rows where department id does not belong to the id in the department table because those are the I departments that no longer exist so and that if you do that that is what you get for example john right so just we looked at it john 14 department id does not exist similarly for diana if you look at it department id 33 is not present in the department's table so to solve this question what we can do is from this table called students we are only interested in those rows where department id department id is not in and then we can get the list of all the department ids from the departments table so return id from the departments table right so this is going to give you so if i just you know format it in a better way so this entire thing is going to list off all the departments that exist and then we are you know in from the students table keeping only those rows where department id does not belong to the department ids that exist so what are we basically saying return all the departments that do not exist and for them in our output we need the id and the name so we can just go ahead and write so return id and name since we do not need to order this by anything let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it not a very difficult question all we had to do was from the students table what we did was we only kept those rows where department id does not belong to any id that is already existing in the department's table and that is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video